fact, uh, I have determined that uh, here back during the Bush administration when they were talking about his neocons, the neoconservatives, that was just kind of a uh, more modern, polite term for national socialists because that's what they were. And what you just said is key. A bunch of the neocons were Jewish and had been Trotskyites, but at the University of Chicago, they followed one of the sheep dip Nazis who was the head of the program there, Strauss, and so they were actually communists that then adopted a fascist model and they lobby for a fascist model. Well, what they did was turn them from communist socialism to national socialism. So yes. Socialism. <laughs> exactly. What they did was turn them from communist socialism to national socialism. Yes, socialism. <laughs> exactly. said many times for a party like the Conservatives just to open the door and say come on in. If all you see is a sea of white Christian faces, you need to see people from your own communities getting to the top of the army, getting to the top of the legal profession, getting to the top of the business, and yes, getting to the top of the Conservative Party and politics too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the truth is, if we're going to build that strong, vibrant and inclusive society, we need more role models like this. Many more Muslim men and women at the top of British businesses, many more Muslim soldiers in the highest level of command, and of course, more Muslims in our parliament. <coughs> so there's not just one Muslim in the cabinet and one in the shadow cabinet, but British Muslims all across government in positions of leadership and authority. Positions of leadership and authority. On this battle depends the survival 
It concludes that Iraq has chemical and biological weapons which could be activated within 45 minutes. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. good to be back at the Council on Foreign Relations. As uh, Pete mentioned, I've been a member for a long time and was actually a director for some period of time. I never mentioned that when I was campaigning for re-election back home in Wyoming. There are known knowns. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. That is to say, we know there are some things we do not know. But there are also unknown unknowns the ones we don't know we don't know but is this an unknown unknown i'm unknown, not going to say which it is we know this well here the peddling of lies that 9 11 was somehow a jewish plot <laughs> The five Israelis were detained for 10 weeks and finally deported on immigration violations after the FBI cleared them of any involvement in 9-11. The fact of the matter is we are coming from a country that experiences terror daily. Our purpose was to document the event. Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? Diversity and opportunity. Lewis? Uh, freedom and freedom. So let's keep it that way. Well, the New York Jets. <laughs> no, I'm going to hold you to an answer on that. What makes America the greatest country in the world? Why is it's America not the greatest, the greatest country in the world, Professor? That's my answer.